Fingers Christian! Hey guys, it's time for another episode of Read Answers Questions, the Christmas episode. So anyway, let's get to the questions. I don't have that many this week, and this week I'm going to do them in all, all in order. Because if you guys have watched my last episode of Read Answers Questions, you'll notice that I was pausing throughout them. That's because I was looking for a good question to put as my first question and all of that. This time I'm just going to do it in my order. So, first question is from Jenna, who wants to know what my middle name is. Well, if you, let's just go to a, um, a video switcher clip, because you guys know in a lot of video switchers, um, I do it in this room. And it shows a little blue, and that shows what my full name is. So go to a video search clip, because I don't actually want to say it. <laughs> so yeah, that is who, um, that is what my middle name is. If you guys will know, I actually don't go by my first name like most regular people will go by. I actually go by my middle name. Jeremy wants to know who the picture, who the dog and my, the, the lizard fell flew. <laughs> Jeremy wants to know who is that dog in the picture on your bookshelf. And I will show you guys which picture Jeremy is talking about. That dog right over there. This is what he's talking about. And anyway, Jeremy. That picture is of my dog, Lucy, who I had, who was alive a few years ago, and is now dead. Um, I just have that picture of her on top of my bookshelf, so I'll be able to remember her. She was a good girl, I liked her. Yeah, that was Lucy, and she's dead now. Okay. So, Jeremy's different. Jeremy's, no, Jeremy's done. There we go. Kelly wants to know if I have a song stuck in my head. Yes, and it is the song I choreographed last called Angel of Darkness. That song is in my head. I've been listening to it way too much and I've been watching the video, watching the video I choreographed, the dance I choreographed to it way too much. It's in my head now. I wish I hadn't watched it that many times. It's a great song. You have to admit, if you guys have watched my last dance video, if you guys have watched it, you guys will admit that is an awesome song. Come on. <laughs> But it's stuck in my head and it won't come out. Anyway, Jackson wants to know what I'm doing for New Year's. Well, actually, for the entire year of 2012, I will be doing this fun little project called Best Lines of 2012. Every time someone says, uh, um, every time someone says something funny, I am going to write that line, write the thing that the person said down in this iPad, down here. And then at the end of the day, I will, and, and at the end of every day, I will um, go to my iPad and onto the computer and pick which line I thought was the funniest that day. And I will be doing that for the entire year of 2012. I think it will be a fun project. I don't know what I'm actually going to be doing for New Year's, but that's what I'm going to be doing for the entire year of 2012. Marco would like to know what my favorite Christmas memory is. And I'll tell you guys that my favorite Christmas memory would be around 2006, 2007, something like that. I think it was 2006, actually. 2005? It might have been 2005. I'm not sure. It was some year before I started doing Wish, or I know it wasn't um, 2008, 2009, 2008, 2009. I know it wasn't that. I'm... So I'm just going to say it was around 2000. Five, I guess. 2005. Let's just go with that. Um, my favorite Christmas memory is around 2005 where I got a um, Woody. Um, this, um, this story is probably not going to sound that, that, um, probably not going to sound that Christmassy at first, but then as it goes along, it'll start to sound more and more Christmassy. Um, if you guys have seen my videos for a while, you'll know that I have a bunny named Woody. And, um, I 
this little guy. He's such a cutie. But a little, but a very little known fact about Woody is that I actually got him one year for Christmas. I actually walked up to Santa one year and asked him, Hey Santa, I'd like to have a bunny or guinea pig for Christmas. I wanted a bunny or a guinea pig for Christmas. And he gave me a bunny and I named him Woody. That was my favorite Christmas memory because Woody's my favorite pet in the house. I love Woody. So yeah, that's, that is my favorite Christmas memory. The year I got Woody for Christmas. Savannah would like to know what my favorite and least favorite color is. Now, in this question, I actually asked Savannah what a question, what a good question for this show would be. And she told me that. And again, again, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Again, I'm going to say that my favorite color is red and blue. You guys have heard this a bajillion times already. I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't hate me for saying this. Uh, but yeah, my favorite color is red and blue. Again, I said it again. I said it again. <laughs> I've said it, like, how many times now? I'm not sure. My least favorite color is black. I really like colorful things, like this and stuff. I don't really like the more boring colors, like black and that stuff. I don't like that. So, blue and red are my two favorites, and black is my least favorite. I know I say it a billion times. I know I say it a billion times. I just wanted to say it again. You guys don't know, haven't known my least favorite, but you guys have known my favorite for a really long time. And I'm pretty sure you guys are sick of hearing it, so I'm sorry I'm saying it again. I just why I didn't ask it. <laughs> Kay would like to know what I'm looking forward to more, New Year's or Christmas? And I'm actually, I know this may sound harsh because this is like two days before Christmas, but I'm actually looking forward to New Year's more. I'm actually looking way more forward to New Year's because if you guys will go back a few questions, um, go back three questions, you guys will know that I'm starting up a new project called Best Lines of 2012 because um, I'm, uh, Amazing Race does this, does this thing where they take one of the best lines from the show and use it as the title of the episode. And I thought that was a fun little thing, so I'm doing it too. Ex I'm looking more forward to, to the New Year's. To New Year's. Only a few more weeks and New Year's will be around, and I will finally be able to start Best Life 2012. I've been looking forward to New Year's for about a month now. Yeah. Andrew wants to know what apps I play most on my iPad, so I'm going to actually step away from the questions for a little bit and look at the apps. I play, um, I play ABC Mysteries a lot. It's this game where, you have, where all the letters of the alphabet are hidden and you have to find them. And I play another one called Word Search Star a lot because it's got great music. Actually, I'll play it right now. Alright, hang on. Let's go back to the beginning of the music. This, this game has some of the best music you will ever see. You'll ever hear, actually. I'll put it next to you. Yeah, I got the app just because I like um, word searches and I thought it was going to be a very fun word search, and it is, but I have to admit the music is way better than the actual game itself. And another game I play a lot is one called Four in a Row, I play that a lot with Savannah. And I win more than she does, <laughs> obviously, because she's four, I'm sixteen. <laughs> And another one I play a lot is called... Are there any more I play a lot? Oh yeah, the Christmas Tree Maker. And you get to design your own Christmas tree. It's sort of like make a flake and all that stuff, but instead of snowflakes, you're creating your own Christmas tree. 
and Savannah has made like four on here. Let me see. Let's see here. She's made five. And maybe I'll show them to you. And maybe I'll make a reason. I've had reviews for this one too. So this is one she's made. This is the first one she made. The second one she made is right here. Yeah, come on, there we go. She's made all of those. She hasn't actually put the ornaments and stuff everywhere. I've done all that, but... She's picked all the ornaments and stuff like that. <laughs> so those are pretty much all the ads I play most. And another one is called Finger Scan, where you put your finger on and it'll predict how you're feeling. So yeah, back to the questions. So those are the ads I play most on my iPad. Grace would like to know if I could travel to any point in time, which would I choose? And that would be February 19, 2012. I mean, 2013. February 19, 2013. Because it will be my 18th birthday and I will be able to finally, 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 finally move out. <laughs> I, just, I really want to move out. I know that it may sound harsh, but I do, I really want to move out. <laughs> Danny wants to know what are three things you can't live without. iPad. Um, what other things? Let's see. iPad, Sprite, Lay's. Lay's potato chips. <laughs> and finally, Carly wants to know how do I deal with all the mean YouTube comments? And I just block those people from my channel and delete their comments. That's all I do. I don't comment back saying anything mean. I just delete their comments and block those people from my YouTube channel. Because I'm not... Because... Those guys sound like they're haters and they're like gonna say a bunch of other mean stuff on my channel. So I just block them from my YouTube channel and delete their comments. Maybe one day you'll do the same thing. Anyway, those are all the questions I had for this episode of Reading with Questions. I will see you guys next week, or next time, whenever I decide to make another video. I'm not sure when it's going to be, but I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be, but anyway, I will see you guys in the next video I post. Whether it's a Reading with Questions video, whether it's a dance video, whether it's a video switcher, or whatever it is, I don't know.